And hello to you from Molyneux here in the English West Midlands. I'm Derek Ray and joining me here on the commentary box is Lee Dixon. And we have action to bring you from the round of 16 in the Carabao Cup. It's Wolverhampton Wanderers and they face Hull City. Yes, Derek's starting to get to the nitty-gritty now. Only 16 teams remaining. Who can hold the nerve and book their place in the quarter-finals? We're just 90 minutes away. We're about to find out. Well, you never quite know who's going to dominate a game in advance, but I think you can maybe make an argument for this fellow. Lee, what do you think we'll see from him? Well, every defender goes into the game not wanting three goals in three games to be the player you're playing against. And that's the case today. The initial 11 for Wolves. Well, as a team, Lee, they love to apply almost suffocating pressure. Based on the lineup, do you expect the same approach today? Yeah, I think so, Derek. It makes it really difficult for the opponents to find their rhythm unless their touch is absolutely perfect. It forces mistakes, so I'd expect we'll be seeing plenty of that from them today. Well, here's how the lineup looks for Enjoy Hull City. And they kick off here. Ruben Neves. Unable to keep the ball. Morgan Gibbs White. The attack continues. They're making considerable progress. Well, the perfect tackle, really. And now a throw-in. Podence. Raul Jimenez has it. Tremendously strong in the tackle. Chance to attack using width. And he's made headway. It's there for him. What a vital intervention. Not advantage with them. Referee says play on. An important interception. Well, no let up. Plenty of pressure. Did look as though they had attacking momentum, but not so. And he was in the right place to intercept. And Ronato Sanchez with it now. Must take the lead here. Oh, but he's missed it. How on earth is this still level? I don't know, Derek. Just a real lack of composure in the end. They should be ahead. That is how to apply the pressure. Good tackle, it'll be a throw. And showing fine vision. Textbook defending inside the box. And they're closing him down, how will he react? Renato Sanchez. And Bellingham. Timothy Weah and Bellingham can he put them ahead so a corner kick it'll be following the deflection well what about that opportunity a few minutes ago we can see it again now thumped clear Bellingham will he finish a goal 1-0 a fully deserved advantage based on what we've seen.
Well, it's good build-up and there's one player standing in front of the goal. And it falls to him and he's not going to miss from there. The opening goal of the game then. Ruben Neves. Connor Cody now. Johnny. And it's with Gibbs White. Wolves are really controlling possession, but after that, it's been disappointing. I'd like to see them use those wide areas around the defence, get round them. After. Oh, my goodness me! Well, don't try that at home without practice, practice, practice. Breathtaking goal. Even Steven won a piece on this match. And they need to get tighter. He could be. He's in here. Big chance it is. Well, the goalkeeper in charge of the situation. With the game level, let's see what they can do with this corner. And the referee blows the whistle. It is a free kick. Played in there. And there it is. Two goals in a matter of minutes. Incredible stuff. So there we have it, 2-1. Timothy Weah. Here's Renato Sanchez. Chance here. It has to be, surely. And still a chance. Well, that's the end of that for now. And the whistle is sounded for... The teams are ready to have a go at each other again as the second half commences. Well, sloppy in possession. Ruben Neves. Difficult to stop him. And Bellingham. And pull back. Oh, surely. And he's done it. Parate again. A magnificent game unfolding. Well, as we can see again here, he knows exactly what he's doing and kids all the defenders with the cutback. And then the brute force and guile in equal amounts sets up the chance to score. And he doesn't disappoint, does he? Once again, the sides are level. This is a kaleidoscope of shifting emotions. Nelson Semedo. Ruben Neves. And it's with Gibbs White. Well, this is the home of live football and more live action from the championship coming your way on EA TV. It's Hull City facing Nottingham Forest. Yeah, it's very easy to build a case for those two teams to make that game a real cracker. You should be tuning in for that one. I'm well, being pressed here. Hadji. Well, visionary passing. Can he put it away? And a goal! Just like that, they're back in front. Well, we'll see this again, and it's inches from going wide. It doesn't hit the post and goes in. Keeper is distraught. Well, neutrals are getting their money's worth. 3-2 in this match. Ruben Neves. And it's with Gibbs White. Cody. It's with Ruben Neves. Nelson Semedo has it. Fine cross into the middle. Attending to his defensive chores. Raul Jimenez. And good use of advantage. The referee allowing play to continue.
and take it away. The visitors are struggling with possession, really, but to their credit, they've been absolutely blistering on the counter-attack. They just sit back, hit you on the break, and it's really working for this team. Hadji. Not high-quality defending. Deserves credit for winning the ball back. Nelson Semedo. Well, listen to the atmosphere in here. The Fans are doing their bit, trying to spur them on for the equaliser. Marlos. Well, couldn't quite find his teammate. Just 10 minutes to go. And he's through here. Has eyes for goal. And in. Oh, yes. Exactly what they were hoping to produce. They've delivered the goal. Well, here's the replay. And it's a lovely, quick counter-attack that sets up the chance. And he chooses to use power in the finish. Not much chance for the keeper when it's hit that hard. So the current scoreline, 4-2. Kleibert. Ruben Neves. Nelson Semedo. Nelson Semedo. It's with Cengiz Under. Is it going to be? Able to clear the danger, at least for now. Well, that's how to dispossess your opponent. Flybert. Now they stopped them in their tracks. There's the final whistle, and the visitors move on. Well, it was tight at times, wasn't it, Derek? But overall, I think they deserved it. Just on a bit of a roll, maybe. Good win, that was. Hi, uh, just a couple of questions for you. Thank you for your time.